A recent leak has just provided us with a good look at some lost and cancelled doom levels that have never been seen before. This leak is extremely interesting and features a unique version of hell that's never really been done in a Doom game before, and the way that it was leaked is just as intriguing. Along with the lost levels, we'll also be going over even more leaked content that I wasn't able to cover in my previous video on that really cool Doom 64 content leak. That additional content includes an early look at the cut Revenant and Archvile, along with some unique unused sprites, but first we need to talk about the lost levels. It's been known for a while that Doom 64 was originally supposed to include levels with more unique takes on Hell. There's a pretty well-known screenshot that shows a cut Mayan Temple level. Well, we now have a somewhat decent look at a level featuring those themes. A Doom 64 pre-alpha demo reel has leaked online, and it features a level with Egyptian and Mayan themes. There's tons and tons of never-before-seen content in this footage, but there's the fairly obvious downside of it being a 1996 screen recording. If you can look past the bad aspect ratio and the grainy quality, there's a whole lot to enjoy from this pre-alpha footage. The Doom 64 alpha is now actually playable, but this test level and these unique sprites are unfortunately missing from the build entirely. I honestly think that that is an absolute shame. There's some really cool stuff in here. I genuinely really love the animated fire skybox and the unique Egyptian take on Doom's underworld. It could have been a really cool experience. There is some footage of an unused UAC level as well, but it's not nearly as interesting in my opinion. The full demo reel is more than 7 minutes long, and since I prefer to stick with shorter content, I'll be leaving a link to the full thing in the description below. But hey, that gives us more time to talk about some other cut Doom 64 stuff, like early assets from the Revenant and the Archvile. A ton of clay models were made for Doom 64 that were presumably used as references for the game's 3D models, which were then turned into sprites. One of the models shows an unused enemy that I personally think is the Doom 64's version of the Archvile, and we now have evidence to back up that claim. A sprite for the Archvile's fire attack can be found in the Alpha's files, which is confirmed that they were planned at some point before being presumably scrapped to save on cartridge space. The same thing unfortunately appears to have happened to the Revenant, because a texture for the Revenant's missiles are still in the files, although there's no images of any clay models to suggest that he was fully planned. We do also have a few bonus sprites, like these early versions of the armor, health, and berserker pickups, as well as two unused switches at the end. I like the additional details on the armor sprites, but the straps on the health and berserk look a little bit odd. I can definitely vibe with it on the Berserk, but I really can't get behind it on the health pack, it just looks a little too out of place. The switches look like something out of Classic Doom, though, which certainly fits with some of the other sprites we covered last time. For the most part, I do prefer the pickup sprites that we see in the final build, but these are still really great. What do you think? Would you have preferred these alpha sprites, or do you like the ones we have now? And what about the Hell levels? Would you have liked the Egypt, Aztec, and Mayan themes, or are you okay with the traditional Hell we got in Doom 64? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like on today's video and subscribe for more Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein content. It's a free way for you to stay entertained and up to date on news, and I'll get your support, so it's basically a win-win for both of us. I think that's just about all I have for today's video, though. I hope you enjoyed the cut content. Remember there's a link to the full alpha footage in the description. Thank you all for watching, until next time.